Hello, it's hard to believe we're already in October, and so it's time for your October Board of Education report. First of all, we had bills totaling $18,298,127.97. Obviously, this is quite a bit higher than we typically see, but we're starting to pay out all of the bond app. So because of that, this is pretty typical of what you would see during a bond issue. Also under consent agenda, we had the approval to let bids to replace the roof at Fairmount Elementary School. So we plan on doing that this upcoming summer. This is not part of the bond issue. We will pay for this out of capital funds. Item number four under consent agenda is the approval to let bids for an enclosed storage facility at central office. So what we're going to do here is take the second floor here at CO and enclose it so we can place some of our uh, facilities and maintenance vehicles to protect them from the elements as well as for security purposes. Again, this is not part of the bond issue. This is part of capital projects. Item five under consent agenda is the approval to let bids for storage facilities at Chrisman High School, Truman High School, and our middle school campus. Now this is part of our bond campaign. They will replace existing facilities at our high schools. Uh, we currently do have storage facilities there down by the track that these will replace. And then at our middle school campus, we do not have anything near the track. So we're going to put a storage facility there and then we can take away some of the mobile storage that we have. Uh, under superintendent's report, I did talk a little bit about our COVID cases. I'm very happy to say that our COVID cases are remaining constant. We were at 21 hundredths of 1% for this past Friday. And that's about what we've seen each week. Also, I did talk a little about the supply chain issues that we do continue to see. Uh, this is something that's not only impacting us, really it's all school districts and even all businesses. We are having some issues getting food in on a time for our nutrition service department. I do have to say they have done a fabulous job. Uh, we have had to alter some menus from time to time, but at no time have we ever been concerned that we would not have food for kids to eat. And I continue to believe that. So if you hear those comments, we are going to be able to feed kids this year. Also with the supply chain issues, we are having some situations with the bond issue that we're not always getting all of our supplies in that we would need to complete bond issue projects. So we have had some delays. I'm very excited to uh, report to the board about the opening of the stadium at Van Horn High School. That went wonderfully. Uh, so excited about that. Now all three of our high schools have their own home venue. So again, it was an exciting time, not only for Van Horn High School, but for the ISD in general. And then lastly, I was excited to say that we are going to hold our parade on Saturday. Because of COVID, we did have to uh, cancel it last year. But again, uh, really excited about this and I'm hoping that everyone can come out and join us for the parade. Uh, number one item on the agenda for new business was a bond presentation from our Director of Facilities, Saloom Stutzer. Uh, our bond projects, again, are being impacted by some of the supply chain issues, but we are progressing and very excited to see all of the work that's being done. Uh, item two was a presentation from Dr. Patty White regarding our early ed program here in the ISD. Uh, you may or may not know this, but the ISD has the largest early ed program in the state of Missouri. And then now that we are coupling that with the child care benefit program, we're really excited about what we continue to offer our community and now our employees. Item number three was the approval to continue bank services with an extension with Commerce Bank. Uh, we are going to continue with this contract for one additional year. Item number four was the approval of changes to Board of Education policies. Now these were first readings. Whenever we have BOE changes, we do have to have two readings for this before they become policy. So I won't go over all of the policies in detail, but I will go over the numbers in case you'd like to reference them. They are Board of Education Policies 0320, 0324, 2420, 2710, 4120, 4320, and 4322. Item number five under new business was the approval to purchase Dell desktop units. Uh, we are purchasing 420 Dell desktops from CDWG for $517,860. These machines will replace our Project Lead the Way units that are in our high schools. 
Item number six is the approval to purchase 600 Chromebooks from CDWG at a price of $149,586. And this is part of our normal cycle where we replace our Chromebooks here in the ISD. Item number seven is the approval to purchase Dell all-in-one computers. There are 110 of these from CDWG at a price of $97,350. And these units are going to go in our high school libraries at 30 apiece, as well as 20 units at Independence Academy. And then lastly, we have the approval to purchase View Sonic monitors. There are 420 of these at a price of $70,980. And these are the monitors that will go with the computers that are used for the Project Lead the Way units. With that, that is your October Board of Education update. And I do want to say, first of all, thank you so much for all of your work. We've had a great start to the school year, and that's really because of all of you. So just want you to know how much myself and the Board of Education appreciates everyone's efforts. Have a great October. Mm -hmm.